Hello. Hey guys, welcome. Thank you for joining us on this uh, live broadcast. Uh, Ruben and Yaniv here, and uh, we want to go over some uh, tip, some tips uh, with you for uh, freestyle. Uh, we want to thank first of all those, all those who signed up already to the to this groundbreaking innovative plan. We know it's not so straightforward. We know it's uh, completely different from everything you've known uh, in the industry so far, and that's why we're here to explain more a little bit about the, the program, the parameters, but first we'll start maybe with some tips on how to be more successful, how to uh, trade uh, this plan, this program a little bit more successfully um, and cover the various uh, parameters and uh, ways that you can uh, be more or have higher chances and be more successful in this uh, program, which is already, as far as uh, we've built it and, and as far as we uh, perceive it, it's already very flexible, has or gives you higher chances uh, to pass and uh, really lets you be, you know, the trader you are without enforcing anything uh, specific like time or um, uh, stop loss, drawdown, etc. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, again, thank you for all people that already uh, registered for the freestyle program. Uh, it's a new, completely a revolutionary program. So thank you for people that, that trust us from the beginning. Uh, I want to remind it as well, it's a beta. So of course, I know that you guys can have some questions, can have some uh, feedbacks regarding the programs and, and I can tell you that uh, all the team here takes your feedback very seriously yeah. and we will probably edit, change some uh, configuration that we already uh, implement and uh, so yeah, thank you for already, uh, yeah, so for the traders that already registered uh, in the program. Uh, so let's move for the tips to pass. Today we will talk about what to pass this yeah. program because it's different, you don't have drawdown, uh, you don't have limit a limit of time, so we want you uh, actually to pass. Um, something very important as well is um, this program should be a little bit easier than other programs to pass because you can tr you can come as you are actually. You, you don't need uh, to respect a certain drawdown, you don't need to go to a certain target. Uh, that can be something that can be easier for you. Uh, but again, because there is no limit and there is no uh, uh, requirements, you can be lost at the beginning because you don't know Absolutely. Not too much where to stand. So you have to really plan your trading, plan your strategy, and stick to it. Uh, and that's what we're looking for: consistent traders, traders who know what they're doing, traders who know how to, you know, plan their trade and trade their plan and build their uh, portfolio gradually and consistently. Uh, and even if they take big risks, they know that these big risks will. Uh, come with big, big rewards or you know maybe small risks and small rewards we don't care as long as you're consistent and you have uh, more reward than risk yeah so let's move to the to the tips uh, yeah Jonathan we, we had a small issue with the link this is a new link so uh, yeah actually uh, actually this is this is working so that's fine uh, let's move to uh, the freestyle explanation sorry for that actually at the end okay uh, so the first tips I, I think it, it's uh, it's the, the main tip for also different program okay hold down this is move alone okay uh, let me let me do that Okay, here we are. Sorry for the little technical issue. Okay, so the first, the first tips is to have a profitable strategy. This is also work for all the program we have. So before going into the freestyle program, you should have a profitable strategy that you should work before, backtest, sleep, repeat, and you know you have to practice your strategy before coming to any funding program because actually this can be very complicated to pass any factors uh, that we implement uh, into the, the freestyle. You should complete your challenge, your evaluation in a profitable 
balance. So that's why you must have a profitable strategy at, at the beginning that you start. That's why you should back test it and come when you are fully ready, uh, instead of testing your strategy when you are already in the freestyle. So this is a, the most common tips. Have a profitable strategy that, that you already practiced before. Um, that's the main, uh, the main thing. You want to add something regarding this, this one? Uh, no. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, is, uh, this is the easy one. Want to talk about this one? Okay, right. the second one is to have an established risk management plan. Um, so before you start, you must set up a risk management plan that you will need to respect and stick along all the 100 positions that you will have. And I will explain why. Actually, you don't have drawdown limit into the freestyle program, so that's why you should have a risk management plan before you start the program. Because if you start, uh, let's say, uh, draft your position and, and, and don't, don't set a, a risk on the position you're taking, you are taking, um, it, it, you could like incur your drawdown and it will be complicated to finish the, the, the challenge in a, in a profitable balance. So try to set a maximum risk that you are willing to take per position. That actually will be uh, one of the main tip of the freestyle uh, program because you don't have a drawdown limit. So you should uh, establish before you start a risk management plan that you have to stick. Yeah, it's important to uh, emphasize that really you, you don't have any time limit here. So in all our programs, but especially here, we try to really give you the option to be a, a, a responsible trader, uh, a trader who waits for the, the, the best setups. Not, we, we don't give a time limit like make 10% 10, 10 in one month and then you have to rush into trades and you, really, you can really wait for the best setups here. And if you wait for the best setup, one of uh, one thing that makes a setup a good setup is that you have a good risk reward ratio. If you're going with a trend, for example, wait for an area in the trend where you have previous, let's say it's an uptrend, wait for the price to sit or consolidate around previous support areas, uh, around moving averages, around uh, a, an intermediate uh, demand zone, for example, and then you have a, and then you know, and and look where the price can go. Does it have a, a resi Does it have a clear area above, or does it have a nearby resistance area, uh, a nearby uh, supply zone? And then you know, okay, my stop loss is so and so, and the potential move ahead is such and such, and then you can calculate or estimate what your risk reward ratio is. If the risk reward ratio is, is high enough, is good enough, even if this trade didn't, went, it didn't go well, you still over a series of trades have higher chances of making more profit than, uh, than losses. And this is part of the established risk management plan. Uh, and if you wait for these good setups where you have a relatively small risk compared to the uh, potential reward, you will, you will most definitely succeed in this uh, program and you have all the time in the world. Um, on the other hand, of course, if you're trading, let's say, uh, reversals or, and you're waiting for the price to uh, sit uh, on top of, uh, let's say, a support level where the price bounced up before, so you're waiting for a reversal, wait for some price action, and still, you have a specific stop loss be below this uh, support level, and um, and the the target can be a return all the way back to a uh, supply zone or a, the the higher resistance level, etc. So again, wait for areas where you have good risk reward ratios, where you have higher chances of uh, of entry. You know, Ruben and Saul and me, uh, we are all showing you um, examples of that in the in the trading room. Obviously, the trading room is not the perfect uh, setup because it's bound in, in a specific hour uh, into one uh, time frame. But still, we give you all the time. So establish or use a, an established risk management uh, method, and uh, this will really 
increase your chances of passing this program as well as of course other programs as well. Yeah, totally agree. One of the tips that we talked after we also be talking about take your time. Uh, but before going to this tip, we were talking about uh, the volume that you will take. Uh, that is also part of the risk management plan that you have to set up before. But you should use approximately the same volume and the same lot size all along the 100 trades. Uh, one of the rules that we have set in the risk the performance factor is the risk threshold rule that will not qualify you or not take uh, a trade that is above the threshold. Let's say you have an average of, of one lot in, in, in the Forex uh, market and suddenly you open a 10 lot position. This will be uh, in our hand considered as a lucky trade or something that is uh, not uh, into the into the, uh, the routine of the trader and we will, we will not count this type of trade. So you should use approximately, I, I'm, not, I'm not telling the same because we give you a 2.5 multiplier uh, above the threshold. So we want you to, to use approximately the same lot size all along the 100 trades. Um, and that will uh, also lead you to, to pass the, the performance factor easier than, a, than taking the, the risk or taking, uh, let's say, the, uh, yeah, the risk to uh, have um, a trade with a higher, uh, with a higher lot size than you should use uh, in usual. So uh, yeah, consistency and passions are the key. You should use approximately the same volume and the same lot size in the position that you're taking. Yeah, and you can, I mean, obviously, if you increase the, uh, the lot size along the time as your account grows, that's fine. Your maximum lot threshold will dynamically yeah. go higher. Definitely. It won't limit you. But don't jump between positions of 0 0.01 lots and then one lot. It's it's just too too different, or, or the, the 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 difference between the lot sizes is just too high, and it will make some of your positions go outside of the lot threshold. And we put this uh, threshold because again we want to see consistency. We don't want to see you know uh, lucky trades or or just uh, trades that you try to to make a home run and, and take everything while other trades you just uh, you're you're afraid of taking and you open a very small a lot size we want you to be consistent if you're not sure start with small lot sizes and then gradually grow them yeah definitely um, we will answer some questions on the chat just after but I I got your questions uh, trick it's on yeah. I will, I will answer this at the end. Yeah, we have many questions. Uh, we, we will try to answer all of them uh, in a few minutes. Uh, okay. So yeah, just like I've said, start small. Uh, this will also let you get used to the program itself. See in the dashboard how your account behaves in terms of the uh, the profit factor, the winning factor, and their sub factors, the lot. Uh, the lot uh, maximum lot threshold and the um, winning maximum winning uh, or maximum profit uh, threshold this way you will understand better how the factors work uh, you will see how your account uh, behaves or how the the, uh, the statistics uh, behave and how your account advances start small with small um, drawdowns with even small profit and Again, remember, you can get founded in this program even if you make, I don't know, $100 or $50 on a $50,000 account. The profit can be very small as long as obviously the, the, the drawdown is small, um, but just grow it gradually. Start small. It will really help you. Yeah, if you start small, you will be able to manage, uh, let's say, your account if you had drawdown or if you had, uh, I don't know, some losses. If you start big, it will be very difficult to cover the drawdown that you will have in, if one position yeah. don't go in your side. So Absolutely. start with small volume is a, is a good, good tip that we can also give you. Absolutely. And, and one more thing I have to uh, add to this uh, point. If you start small, no matter how experienced you are, if you start small, it will help you psychologically and it will help you manage your positions better psychologically. And the fact that we are not demanding a certain uh, 
um, target of 10%, especially without, and we're not asking for any time limit or not setting any time limit, really gives you the option to trade small, to trade slowly, and to trade calmly. Just be consistent. So if you start small, it gives you a huge advantage. You know that you don't need to hit a specific target. You can make a few bucks on every trade, and that's it. And if that makes you calm, if you want to trade 0.01 lots and you feel comfortable with that, it's better than trying to open one lot and be stressed out because of, because of the money, because of, uh, because of the drawdowns, even though basically there's no difference. It doesn't really matter for us, okay, because we're not asking for a, a percentage target. But for you, it will make a difference because you will be calmer and it will help you um, manage your account and manage the risk and manage your psychology, manage yourselves better. So start small. It will help you in all aspects. Yeah, completely agree with this one. Um, let's move to the next one. That is, we, we already talked about, about these tips as well, but it, to wait for the best trade setup. Uh, on the market. You have no pressure, you have no time limit, and you have 100 trades to show what you know uh, in terms of trading. So wait all the time for the best setup. You don't need to rush uh, or having a time limit. If you want to take two years actually to pass uh, this challenge, you can. If you need one month, you can. It depends who you are, and, and, and that's why um, you should wait for the best, uh, the best setup here. Yeah. So no pressure, take your time, and because you have 100 position, take the best one that you think. Okay, so uh, I think Gil is also talking in his demand and supply webinar that he's waiting for AA plus or something like that uh, mm -hmm. uh, position. So wait for the best setups, uh, guys. This is one of the, of the advice as well. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely. By the way, one, one more thing about the previous point. Uh, wait for the best setups, but obviously there's there's a lot of correlation. I uh, spoke uh, yesterday about all the yen uh, crosses. Okay, when dollar yen breached a certain level, dollar yen started going up, and all yen crosses went up. So if you see a good setup, look at similar pairs that have uh, correlation, either uh, linear correlation or inverse correlation and try to take these setups, try to use opportunities. There's tons of opportunities, but if you recognize, I don't know, CAD yen is going up and pound yen is going up and Euro yen is going up and Kiwi yen, Aussie yen, then use the momentum and take these setups. Um, it will be, and of course, if the market is going sideways, wait, okay? If you don't see anything good, then wait. But if you see uh, many setups that go in one direction or, or something that that the market is pushing across various uh, uh, pairs, use this uh, opportunity and uh, seize the momentum. Okay. As for the uh, dashboard, uh, the dashboard is very, very detailed, very self-explanatory, tooltip on every parameter. Uh, the, the, the charts themselves are very clear including tooltips on, on uh, the, the trades themselves. So if you, on the positions, if you hover on a position, it will tell you uh, not only uh, the, the profit and lot size or whatever, but if it, if it is above the, the lot threshold or below the, the, the profit threshold, it will tell you that as well. Uh, there are gauges for the winning factor and the profit factor, yeah. uh, performance factor, and use the dashboard to see your uh, pro uh, progression. Um, don't just stick with the MetaTrader, use the dashboard all the time to measure your performance. Yeah, and we will show also an example, just out of the tips, some example of the, of the dashboard. So you guys, uh, even that you're already not into the freestyle, can check what we are offering in the, in the dashboard, the, the technical team uh, with uh, Yannick that is leading the, the technical team. Who, 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 so we did a wonderful job on, on the dashboard. Uh, very, you can check all factors very transparently. Uh, it will also be uh, dynamic. So after each position, your dashboard will get updated. Then you can follow actually the two factors that you need. Uh, so this is very important to, um, to mention. 
um, something very important as well. You should focus on your evaluation phase. Uh, we have, I don't know, a lot of feedbacks and remarks already talking about uh, the funded, uh, the funded requirements. Uh, but before getting funded, you should pass into an evaluation phase. So you should be focusing on your evaluation phase before you move to the live account. This is very important. You should focus on your objective and. Only if you pass, of course, you will get rewarded a, a live account with all the all the um, all the advantages, 100% profit share and, and a gross uh, a, a planning. So this is good, but you should first of all focus into your trading, into the evaluation phase. We want you and our team want to 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 find the best trader into into this evaluation phase. So you should focus uh, very highly on on this evaluation phase. So don't let the reward distract you, be focused. Um, and so this is the last, the last tip. Uh, and I think we are very proud of, of this last one. You can ask for help all the time into our help desk. You can also schedule a one-to-one -one call with our portfolio analyst if you have any questions uh, that may be also about trading, but also about the, the factors that you can um, that you can maybe the factors in the freestyle that you may um, I don't know um, that you can misunderstand uh, in terms of, of the factors. So we are here for you. Don't hesitate to contact us um, by email or into the one-to-one -one call. Uh, we will always uh, be happy to help. Uh, so this is one of of, um, of big important tips yeah. as well. Um, Let's move into uh, the example of some dashboard because it's very important to, to show um, how the dashboard is, is created. Uh, therefore, you can understand uh, better the, the, the factors as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, this is, this is a blank actually, uh, actually dashboard. I will also move after to already people that register into the um, into the, the the freestyle. Uh, yeah, I think it may be better if you, you start with a, with a real example. Let's move to this one. Um, okay, so this is a dashboard for people that already trade with us. Um, the design is quite the same, so will not be lost in this type of, of dashboard. Uh, you have uh, actually the balance of your account, you have the equity of your account, you have the PNL, and also you have the the performance factor. And the winning factor all the time it's dynamic it will change position after position for this trailer for this example he have a performance factor one uh, approximately approximately one, one uh, but he only have 33 positions uh, yeah 33 sorry no 13 position 13 13 position so it's only the beginning even the performance factor is actually not above two, you have still 85 trades to go. Uh, but you see, this is actually a good a good uh, equity curve that I believe uh, can still go in. Uh, and, and we see that this trader have all this trade below the low threshold. Uh, so this means it is uh, actually a consistent trader. Yeah, just to uh, explain a few things. Lot threshold means that we take the average lot size of all positions multiply it by two and a half by 2.5 and positions that uh, profitable positions whose lot size is bigger greater than the lot threshold will not be count taken into account in the performance factor that's it okay i mean they're still they're still there they're they're in your P and L. They're in uh, they're they're part of the balance and the equity and everything, but they're not counted or taken into account in the performance factor. So the net profit, the numerator in the net profit um, equation, does not take into account the profit of positions who whose lot size is greater than the lot threshold. Why? Just again, like we said. We want you to be consistent, not open very small positions and then very big positions. Stay around more or less the same lot size. Obviously, if you keep growing your lot size, 
the lot threshold will grow with it. If you keep reducing your lot size, the lot threshold will, will go down. As for the winning factor, um, this is, and it's very important to understand because I've received uh, several questions about it and it seems like it's not clear. The winning factor threshold, the minimum uh, profit threshold, sorry, means that we take the average profit of profitable positions we divide it by 10 or multiply it by 0 0.10 or 10%. So if the average profit is $30, the minimum that the uh, minimum uh, profit threshold is $3, 10% of $30. That's it. So positions with a profit of less than $3 will not be taken into account in the winning factor. Again, why? Because we don't want people to just, you know, open, close, open, close, open, close trades just to, uh, to uh, reach the 100 uh, uh, positions counter. We want you to really put, uh, put your effort and put everything, uh, your best into each and every position. But again, it's just 10% of the average. So, Probably most, if not all, of your positions, except for maybe positions who are around the, the break-even, um, all your positions will be take profitable positions should be taken into account in the winning factor. That's relatively a factor, uh, an easy factor to pass, and we 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 see it. You know, uh, people who just traders who just started trading yesterday already uh, have already achieved nine or even fifteen. Uh, winning uh, trades out of the 30 that we uh, required. required so yeah in, in this example we, we can go back again of what you explained but we can this this example and you might understand a bit a bit more here for example this trader has an average lot size of 0 0.52 lots okay so approximately is opening 0 0.52 lots in average all the tra all trades that will be above 1.30 lots will not be counted into the performance. We see here, okay, that no, there is no trades that is above 1.30 lots. We see here, uh, let's say one lot, we see one lot here, we see 0 0.7, but it didn't go above the threshold. So all these type of trades will be counted into the performance factor. So this is for the performance factor. For the winning factor, here, this trader has win on average 138.60 so his minimum profit threshold will be 13.86 so each trade that will have a small profit below 13.86 will be in this graph in the left side and win, will not be counted into the winning factor that you see here okay for this trader all the winning factor went into uh, all the profitable positions went into the winning factor okay. Yeah, uh, important to uh, clarify something about uh, the positions or netting uh, positions, netting account. I saw some questions uh, on YouTube now. So if you open different or yeah, open positions or trades on different pairs, each pair is a separate position, no problem. Yeah. When is netting uh, affecting your position count or trades count when you open multiple trades concurrent trades okay parallel or, or simultaneous tr trades on the same currency pair so if you buy euro dollar and keep buying 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 it will be one position this is your position on euro dollar okay you can buy 0 0.1 and another 0 0.1 and another 0, 0 0.1 so you'll have a 0, 0 0.3 lots position on euro dollar with an average entry price an average open price which is the average of the three uh, different trades and um, if you close partially as long as you haven't closed all the lots the, the, the full lot size it will remain open with the same position this is one position but if you go euro dollar pound dollar dollar yen uh, kiwi dollar it's four positions yeah. okay or if you go euro dollar you buy you sell 
that's it and then another time you go your dollar you buy you sell you close the position that's a second position okay um, and the, that's the, the reason is because we want to count different a hundred different hundred or a hundred different positions otherwise you would have been able to just open 10 trades with smaller lots on the same pair and it would have been counted as 10 okay but that doesn't show any consistency so it's a netting account but every position now if you open the positions on different days or even on the same day but you close the position before opening another one and we'll see uh, examples here uh, we have a trader who opened all his positions on gold he opened and closed opened and closed opened and closed it's all gold and therefore it's different positions and you have the number of positions also in the table okay you can see everything uh, in the table so um, uh, yeah here for example everything is gold uh, this trader has already uh, had the 10 winning uh, the winning factor of 10 so 10 profitable positions and a great uh, profit factor so you know within one day this uh, this trader is already uh, close to maybe halfway to getting a, a funded account with a profit of how much? He have a profit. A of profit of yeah. This yeah. This is a big profit. This is a nice profit. This is a nice profit he, he as won, well. Yeah. yeah, but if it were if it were a ten percent uh, target, he would have been far from the target. Now he's already relatively close to the target. For this type of, of trader here, uh, there is here three position uh, that, for example, will not be counted into the winning part of it. But still, at the end, here there is ten. He should go thirty winning trades. Uh, that's still uh, the beginning. He have only uh, sixteen trades, and into the sixteen trades, already ten goes into the winning part. Of, so, so that's uh, that's something nice. This is more than thirty percent here. The smart thing here is that, and scroll down please, yeah. you, as you can see, all the positions, maybe except for two, uh, most of the positions are long positions on, on uh, or yeah, most of them are long on gold, meaning the, the trader found in probably an established trend on gold and seized the opportunity to go long with the trend on gold, open and, and take uh, take profit multiple uh, you know positions open close open close but eventually that's what gave him first of all a nice profit and nice um, uh, nice yield but also low relatively low drawdown okay if you go with the trend if uh, if you wait for an established uh, area to enter and join the trend most probably your drawdown will be low, and this is the this is the most important thing um, to to pass this uh, program to have relatively small drawdowns. I mean, you can have big drawdowns if it if it gives you a high profit at the end. That's fine, but it will make it harder for you. So try to keep your drawdowns low. Yeah, and here we see that here he have he have uh, two small losses. Okay, so he had the small drawdown, but he cut at, at least he cut his losses very quick, in opposite to the to the reward that he has in in the in the following trade. So we see here that the max drawdown of his account is only one percent, and the profit is only three point fifty percent. That gives him a performance factor of three thirty. So for example, if the trader had this type of dashboard at the end of the one hundred trades, it will pass. But it's only the beginning. You should continue using the same strategy in order to pass uh, and to be uh, consistent in 100 trades. Yeah. Now, uh, it's important to understand, I saw a question about uh, drawdown, how it is uh, calculated. So just like in real, uh, you know, portfolio management uh, companies or, or hedge funds, the uh, drawdown is calculated between the peak balance and the following minimum equity. Okay, so if you if you have uh, uh, a peak balance or uh, if for example here yeah the the the, the balance was uh, at a, i don't know 50,000 and 16 and then 
it went down, had some low equity, uh, this will be the max drawdown. Now we have higher balance, so as long as this uh, the equity doesn't drop below 1% or 1.05%, this is the max drawdown. But if from here it will drop, let's say 2%, then the max drawdown will be 2%. Okay, this is how volatility or, or risk of a portfolio is measured. Okay, in real world, in, in the real world, in real hedge funds, in the industry, this is how it's measured by taking the drawdown or the, the variance or the volatility the, uh, between the peak balance and the minimum equity. Yeah, Let, let's move into another dashboard, but I think that you approximately see uh, how the dashboard is built and, and you have the performance factor in front of your eye, you have the winning factor and you have the factor parameters just next to it. So all the time you can see uh, your factors uh, in life and it's very important to say that the minimum the, the minimum uh, threshold here uh, on the average and the lot threshold is dynamic okay so all the time that you will add another position the lot threshold might change okay if you add actually a position of uh, I don't know I'm taking this trader if he will add a position of, uh, of five lots in, in, the, in gold he will probably increase is uh, average lot size. So all the time the, the threshold will move according to the position he will he will have um, uh, during his challenge. Yeah. yeah, one more thing to notice uh, yeah. is that you can see on the left side the reset button. So yeah, um, yeah the, the, the this trader can, uh, as long as the performance factor is above zero, uh, he can decide if for some reason it doesn't work well, you can decide to reset and start all over, uh, all over again for free. We are considering some more, um, let's say, uh, an extra reset for those who uh, trade freestyle the first, first time. time. We will let you know about it uh, so that you will have three chances and maybe the first reset will not even have to uh, will not require even a positive uh, performance. performance factor just so you can uh, experience and try this uh, program and have two additional trials in case you know you've understood something that you didn't understand at the beginning so we'll let you know we are considering and as always uh, you will see that we will probably or maybe we, we might uh, make adjustments and make things easier for you and uh, and and let you uh, feel more comfortable with this program yeah uh, I think we are fine with the dashboard that we see maybe we can add a new one uh, randomly be here for example uh, yeah so this is, for example, here uh, a trailer that starts with a high volume. And you see that it, it will be, uh, in the future, very difficult to recover in, in, a, in a huge drawdown. Um, so you should start small, like we said into the in the tips. You should start with a small lot size and increase it slowly, slowly. You have a leverage of 1 to 30. So it's enough to use some trades, but um, try to small. Uh, try to start small in order to increase the lot size. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there's no reason, really, no reason to start with 10 lots. I mean, it doesn't give you anything except for maybe pressure. Okay, you, you feel under pressure uh, with, a, with big drawdowns, maybe big profit, but this program doesn't, uh, the, the purpose of this program is not to make you thrilled or excited or feel like it's uh, the lottery maybe like uh, uh, other companies that, that, that give high leverage in minimum time whatever no the idea here is to give you all the time and all the freedom to trade as best as you can and with with peace of mind and uh, and patience okay so take it slowly start small we're not looking for high gainers or for, uh, I don't know, roller coasters. Yeah. What is good in this program is that a trader that completes the challenge with a 3% profit might be better than a trader that finished with a 20% profit. Yeah. And you see, like we change completely the rules 
of all the, 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 the industry of uh, funding firm already established of having a maximum Jordan and having a, a, a target because it makes sense but not maybe with this kind of, of program uh, like the ex example we have 3% profit can be even better than someone yeah. having a 20% um, keep your drawdown low and uh, and just wait for the best setups um, and uh, yeah let's see if we yeah, have we any can, questions we can on start to answer some questions but also a reminder there is a, a webinar on Thursday as well Alex and Saul will make a Q&A so if you have any questions any feedbacks uh, any concerns uh, about the freestyle program there will be another uh, webinar on Thursday but we will uh, take uh, the 10 last minute to answer some important questions and important feedba feedbacks uh, that you may have I see that Randy is asking whether uh, the drawdown takes into account floating positions so yeah definitely th this is the whole idea of drawdown that it takes into account it's that's why I said peak balance versus minimum equity not minimum balance but minimum equity and the equity obviously includes uh, floating positions uh, okay if you long on gold at 3 p.m. and add more buy position at 5 p.m. does it count at two trades so no. again if you open a, a, a long position on gold and then added to the same position it's still one, one position. position it's still the same position but if you opened at three closed it and open another one at five then it's two positions yeah okay but you need to close first before adding more uh, can you link two or more accounts I mean I'm not sure what you mean uh, link two or more accounts. my own and my friends accounts uh, we prefer you to have your strategy for the freestyle uh, it's one account per person in the freestyle at the beginning um, so no I'm not sure that you will not be able to copy your account and someone account into the freestyle uh, as for your question uh, there's a question if if your account goes to 48,000 and at the end of the hundred trades it goes to 53,000 do I f if you fail uh, you had a drawdown of two thousand dollars and eventually you made a profit of three thousand so uh, it's like one and a half, probably one and a half. Uh, one point five. It will be. Yeah, one point five um, uh, performance factor because yeah, your your uh, profit wasn't as high or high enough relatively to the drawdown. But let me give you another example. Let's say you open a position, and every time, and every time, let's say you lose. Ten dollars and make one dollar on this position. Let's say you're a scalper, you lose ten dollars and you take one dollar, but you close each time you open the position, you lose ten dollars and eventually close at one dollar profit. At the end of the hundred trades, your drawdown was always just ten dollars. Okay, you opened, lost ten dollars, uh, reached, made eleven dollars. Eventually, you made a, a, a net profit of one dollar. Okay, so the max drawdown all the time, if you didn't hold uh, concurrent positions but one position at a time, was just $10. At the end of the 100 trades, you made $100 and the drawdown was just $10. So your performance factor is 10. So obviously, it depends how many positions you hold at once and how much or how many concurrent losing positions you have. But if you had a total loss of 2000 versus a, a profit of 3000 um uh, it's, it's, yeah it, it will be 1.5 but in this case you can reset the account okay even if you had a profit of one dollar okay you lost two thousand dollars and eventually you made one dollar at the end of the program you can reset it and start all over again and improve your strategy can I do copy trade from bootcamp to freestyle? Yeah, you can copy your trade from the bootcamp yeah. to the freestyle, but you should be aware that the uh, the, uh, the factors in the freestyle are completely different from the bootcamp. So if you start by using the, the, the same trade that you have in the bootcamp, you should be aware that um, it might be not affect 
has the same in the bootcamp. So try to focus on the factors into the freestyle, but still, you can use the same traits. Moreover, pay, pay attention. If, for example, on bootcamp, you open multiple positions, multiple trades on the same pair, it will be counted as one position. And if you set uh, a, t a different stop loss or a different take profit for each of the trades on bootcamp, let's say you go long euro dollar with uh, with a stop loss and a take profit, and then another long on euro dollar with a different stop loss and a different take profit. On the uh, in the in the freestyle account, since it's one position, it cannot have different stop losses and different take profits. So it might be <laughs> sorry, it might be problematic. It might not have the same uh, trades or the same positions on two on in the two accounts. So, but if you open just one trade. Uh, per pair on uh, in the bootcamp account there shouldn't be a problem copying it into the uh, freestyle account uh, Alan is asking what size account do I receive if I pass so you the evaluation yeah, is made he, he answered it it's 50k ah, okay yeah it's 50k um, when are you starting the freestyle program is already live and at a discount price, okay, we have to remind it's 495 euro instead of 550. There is a 10% discount for the first week of, of the launch. So um, if you feel interested and you feel that you can find yourself in this program, uh, we are inviting you to uh, to take uh, to take a shot. Yeah. Netting, by the way, is only for this program. Okay, our other programs are not netting or hedging, so it's only for this program because of the way it's built. Yeah, we have a lot also of good feed feedbacks. Uh, this program is always on. Uh, I see also. Um, yeah, I mean, it, as as any other program, it doesn't fit everyone. You know, some people like high leverage, and we don't give high or maybe not high enough leverage for people. Some people like to trade a, one to a hundred. I don't call it trading. I I call it gambling. But for some people, you know. 1 to 30 or 1 to 10 is, is too low, uh, good luck to them. Um, some people, and we, we saw and we, we get this uh, question many times, I'm a swing trader. I don't uh, take many trades per week. Uh, it will take me a lot of time to pass uh, this program because it requires 100 positions. How can you adjust it for me? So first of all, yeah, at the moment, maybe for um, swing traders, it's a little bit too long. Again, depending on how many positions you take per day or per week. On, uh, and, and we're um, inviting you as position traders or, or swing traders to send us an, an email to uh, our support um, with uh, an example of your portfolio. Okay, if you have uh, an account with us, tell us what your account is. If you have an account with another company, send us an example, a screenshot, an Excel file or something uh, of your positions, of your portfolio, so we can understand more or less the character of your trading, the character of your portfolio, analyze it and see how we maybe can adjust our program to uh, swing traders as well, because obviously, you know, uh, limiting the, the the minimum time per trade might be problematic or it depends i mean it's it's a different algorithm or a different parameter we don't want to do something that eventually will be will not uh answer the the needs of um of uh, swing traders but we invite you to send us examples of your uh, trading of your accounts of your portfolios and we will definitely Consider it and look into it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I, I think we might reach the end um, of the session. We don't want it to be too long because there will be a, a, a also a webinar on Thursday. Uh, so guys, uh, we invite you also to uh, to be ready for this Thursday. That will be the main uh, webinar talking about uh, the freestyle. Uh, any question that you may have will be answered. I hope. Uh, that they will have enough time to answer all your questions because we know 
uh, it uh, brings a lot, a lot of new questions, a lot of new interest, um, interest into this program. And we are aware that it's a new program that, that uh, still you might have some questions. Uh, so that's why Thursday, Alex and Saul uh, will be happy to answer your questions. Uh, so for today, uh, I want uh, to uh, thank all the people that uh, were into, into this live. Uh, we are again very proud to uh, very proud to um, deliver this new uh, program, the freestyle, that I hope will uh, will break the rules of all the uh, the funding industry. Um, and again, we're continuously adjusting, improving, listening to your needs, uh, listening to your requirements or, or suggestions, and um, you know we are a dynamic company. Uh, we move fast. We innovate. We enjoy the challenges that you uh, give us as well, and we're always um, very, well, both patient and open-minded uh, to your suggestions and questions. So please share with us your, your thoughts, your suggestions, your feelings about uh, this program and other programs as well. Uh, and we always you know, strive to improve and keep doing groundbreaking and, and innovative programs okay. such as this and believe me uh, no spoilers for now but believe me there's more to come uh, okay. things that will blow your mind uh, we never rest so uh, that's it yeah even if freestyle was a new one there is a lot a lot of things to come after so guys yeah. be ready uh, have a nice day everyone thank you very Stay much in touch. thank, thank you, you for joining us and uh, thank you for all of those who have already signed up and will continue improving, continue answering your questions. So keep it up. Thank you, guys. Thank Bye. you very much. Bye-bye.